Right now, the trial is underway for the high-profile murder case involving the co-founder of the Presidente supermarket chain. He allegedly conspired a murder-for-hire plot after learning his wife was having an affair. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live from the courthouse with today's testimony. Roy. This was a brutal murder where the victim was kidnapped, tortured, and ultimately killed. Today, the state called several witnesses to take the stand, many of them first responders, and some of them weren't even cross-examined by the defense because they say their client is not to blame. Camilo Salazar was not just murdered. He was tortured. The trial in the case of Manuel Marin, a co-founder of Presidente Supermarket and now the defendant in a brutal murder case beginning with opening statements 12 years after the victim was killed. The defendant, Manuel Marin, killed Camilo because Camilo was sleeping with his wife. A state prosecutor told jurors Tuesday about the day Marine learned of his wife Jenny Marin's affair with the victim Camilo Salazar and then devised a murder for hire plot that ultimately killed him. Throat, slit, wrists and hands bound with a belt, face and head badly beaten. Robert Isaac. Alexis Perdomo and Ariel Ganduya are the three men the state said the defendant hired to kidnap Salazar, torture him, and take his life before setting the area on fire to destroy the evidence. Isaac convicted of the murder, Perdomo convicted of conspiracy, and Ganduya convicted of kidnapping. You will hear on the witness stand from Ariel Gandula. He will tell you that he believed that this was going to be a beatdown. The defense opening with arguments that Marine is not to blame and was even out of the country when the murder happened. Not a single one piece of evidence points to Mr. Marine. But jurors were shown that evidence that included pictures taken by crime scene techs that showed the victim with his hands tied together, severe injuries, and still wearing a bloodied shirt saturated with gasoline. What is this? The victim's hands, they were bound behind his back. What do you mean by bound behind his back? They were tied. And Marie now faces charges of second degree murder, conspiracy to commit murder and kidnapping. If convicted, he could face up to life in prison. For now, outside of the Miami-Dade Courthouse in Miami, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.